back again. Oh, lots of cauliflower. We found gourmet yogurt in the trash, like the ones that come in glass bottles that are $5 each. Gourmet cheeses, gourmet like everything. Wheels of brie cheese, Comox I found. Comox brie cheese. Comox brie, yeah. that is maybe the best. <laughs> for some broccoli today. <laughs> we have been dumpster diving for the past eight days as part of a challenge to ourselves uh, in order to raise money for uh, Northern Food Security Initiatives. Everywhere can be pretty hit and miss, but sometimes we'll just get um, indescribable amounts of vegetables and fruits. I dumpster dive almost all of my produce. Um, for other things, uh, it kind of depends, but I'd say more than 50% uh, is reclaimed food for me. Normally it's more than I can consume by myself. And the food we're taking is in great shape. It's stuff that to me looks like it could be on the shelf of a grocery store. I think there's like a misconception yeah. that we're eating scraps, we're eating rotten food, but in reality that's not at all what it is. From now on again there's like a little bruise or like some denting on the produce. Uh, maybe it's uh, a day past the best before date, but it's totally all edible and stuff that shouldn't be in the trash at all. Some stores in Victoria have actually like picked up on the fact that people are dumpster diving and have started to leave out boxes of the food that they, they know is edible just beside the dumpster, which is nice because then it doesn't mix with all the rest of the stuff. You don't have to go in, it's easy to pick through, but that still to me is like, if you know that this food is edible and you know that people are gonna look through it, why isn't there another step happening? Why isn't it going somewhere rather than just being left out? We're trying to get not only to stores, but to everyday people that the way that we're consuming things isn't sustainable and the way that our food system is working isn't going to last forever. The fact that we can sit here and hide our eyes from all of this food that's being wasted while other people are, especially in Northern Canada, are not having enough to eat and are going hungry and food insecure is something that shouldn't be a blind spot in our vision, it should be addressed.